are now ready to decorate the signatures in this pink and purple journal, keeping in mind that the recipient is a writer, that she likes to keep a daily diary and needs a lot of space or a lot of writing space available within the content of this book. So we will move forward with that in mind. I hope you'll hop over to Facebook and join us on the Two Old Crows Mix Media Facebook group. We are starting 2021 with some prompts, weekly prompts. We are there as a community just to inspire one another, to learn from one another, and to grow. So I hope you'll come and join us as well. Now, we ended this previous session by clamping down that little second book cover that we put on the front and making sure that it is glued trimming off the lace that's on the spine that's all glued down quite well now as well and want to just adhere it um, add some additional tacking down in places that look a little loose to me and scruffing up that cheesecloth a little bit around the outside edge of this to give it a little more interest so just kind of get fussy with the outside cover and make sure that you have everything taken care of before we move inside now we created these colorful cards i want to adhere a tag to each one of those that provides us with some interest without compromising writing space but it also gives us some additional writing space so i'm using old file folder remnants and a thinlet tag that I am just running through the big shot. Now you can hand cut these tags as well. You don't have to have the big shot to do this. But once you have your tags ready, just go ahead and ink around the outside edges of those. And I am choosing to do that in vintage photo and the pink color that I have picked out here. It's just a a random pink. Now to cover those tags, we're going to use deli paper. It is lightweight. It is easy to adhere to the tags and it doesn't create a tremendous amount of bulk. Going with the deli plate, the same colors that we've used in the past, the purples, the violet, the pinks, and just creating some interest with random things. Uh, you saw me use the onion bag, the credit cards, the bottle caps, and coming in with a little bit of gold. And we'll just continue to cover these deli, pla deli plates, deli sheets, until we have enough stocked up that we can cover all of those tags with some interest. And I also want to use this deli paper to go back on those pages as well. And with a you know little scrap of deli paper create some interest on the page. So you can see I'm just tearing it, finding out where it looks good, putting some glitter glue down. And you can also use Mod Podge here and just Mod Podge it on. I chose to use the glitter glue and just wrap it around the outside edge glue it down trim it up and you have very quickly very easily a tag that is is actually quite attractive it's it's pretty interesting now i am um partial to less is more but you can cover it as much as you as much as you like. And now I also am going to create a little spot that you can write on the back of that tag. So I'm just cutting some coffee stained paper into some various sizes that are appropriate to fit on those tags. And I'll just glue that on after inking around the outside edges with the vintage photo to give it a little bit of a distressed look. And we'll glue that down. And I think another little piece of this deli sheet will look good there. And now some uh, liquid pearls. And we'll just dot around the outside edge of that. We'll just put three three or four dots here, and then we'll dot around the little circle or the little cutout and 
just wherever you think looks good. And now once that is dry, we'll take that to the scoring board and score uh, about a quarter inch. And you'll see why we're doing this here in a second, but I just want to create a nice fold on those tags. And we will use this eyelash tra trim or faux fur to tie in the hole there to just give it a pleasing look or a little more decoration. There's really no use for it, um, but it looks good, right? And now I'm just going to glue that down. And because we've scored that line, it opens and closes quite easily. There, there is no resistance. And I'm going to clamp this down to make sure that that adheres well. And then we will go through this entire book and do the same thing on each and every one of these. So each individual little space is going to have its own little tag, if you will. And on this one, I had a, a die cut circle that I'm just adding to it just to, to create an additional piece of interest there, adding that little circular shape. So you have the little tag, you have the circle, you can add whatever you want to these. But I'm doing a lot of the, of the decorating on, on these little areas which does exactly what we set out to do, leaves the writing space available and free. Now on some of the pages, I'm going to add this eyelash trim. And again, you know, another decoration that does not compromise writing space, but is going to add some interest to the book when it's closed, because you'll have that eyelash trim peeking out, and it adds color, it adds texture, and it, you know, I'm not going to do it on every page, but we'll do it on each signature. So each signature has some of this eyelash trim coming out. And on the, on the pages, I'm just ripping off a little piece of that deli sheet to add a little bit of color to each of these blank pages. So I'm not decorating the page, but I'm adding an element of color to it. And we'll go through the book and do this, do this throughout. Now, I thought that I would add some horizontal lines here on, on this first page. And I was thinking about doing this throughout the book. But as I got that down, I didn't really care much for the way that it looked. So I decided to vertical uh, represent it on the next page and act like that was uh, an intentional decoration utilized to background this little pocket that I'm going to put here. So it, as it always goes, when when you're making a junk journal, you make a decision, you, you find out that that decision wasn't the best decision you could have made. So you act like it, it was intentional and you cover it up. So I'm adding a little pocket here out of uh, coffee stain paper. And I am just going to put two little tags in there. I'm inking around one and the vintage photo and I'm going to ink around the second one in pink 
And we are going to pretend that this was intentional. I've added some deli sheet to the little pocket to give it some color and some sari silk tied on the little tag to give it some color as well. This is the pink one coming in. So I've already gone around the first one with the vintage photo. This is the pink one, and I'm going to add some pink sari silk to this guy. And I think that page now looks intentional. And now we're, I'm going to go back to the horizontal lines. And I'm just going to add a couple of journaling spaces on top of that and just pretend like these horizontal lines were my background and, again, were meant to be. So what, what I started out as writing space, lined writing space, didn't turn out the way I wanted. So that is our correction on that. I'm just inking now all the outside edges of, of this book. And we have pretty much got all of that basic work done now. All of the little flips are in. And now we just need to, to create a few additional things to put down in this book and, and we'll be good to go. So the, um, inside front cover has nothing. So I'm just going to create a diagonal tuck spot by going from corner to corner here on this file folder. And then I will cover that file folder once again with that deli sheet and adhere it on three sides in the front of the book. And you can see where I'm gluing it to put the deli paper on and I'm just laying it down on top of a sheet and we'll wrap it around so there's no file folder showing and then trim it off and glue it down. And now I'm going to create a little envelope on the inside back cover. And I am utilizing a bank envelope to do that. And I have pulled in some of the paper that we used on the front cover to cover it in. Now I did hit um, that bank envelope with the hole punch to create that, that little area there that allows easy access into the pocket. I'll call it a divot. I don't know what the proper name for that is. If, if anyone knows, please put it in the comments so I know. But just that little uh, indentation there that, that makes it easy to reach in there and, and grab what's inside. And now I'm just going to Mod Podge some um, of that deli sheet on that uh, little flap there. And I'm putting the Mod Podge on the deli sheet before I tuck it in to keep myself from gluing that pocket shut. And this is, you know, this is just a real easy, interesting little thing to create and put on the back of the book. Now, I, I will trim this up and then we will um, decorate the back. I'm using some of the washi tape that we made. I'll link the uh, video on how to make your own washi tape out of masking tape here. 
I'll make sure that's in the description and, and um, you can hop on over and take a look at that. But we made washi tape that is color coordinated with the theme that we're utilizing on this book out of just plain brown masking tape. I'm just going to ink around. And we'll finish that up by adhering some additional deli paper to the back. And I'm just using a, a glue stick to do that. And we'll trim it. And before we call it complete, I'm going to just add a little bit of this doily onto the corner here. Another little piece of washi tape down the side. And I think we'll call that complete. And you just glue the flap down and you have a nice little fold out here. Remember when we punched the hole to create that little divot? Well, this is what we punched out. So I've decided just to, to glue that on to the outside edge of the pocket and, and let it go. So now we just need to create some things for the inside. So I have a lot of this leftover paper from the front. Remember we cut that in, in squares and rectangles to glue on the front. I'm taking that additional paper and just uh, adhering it to a piece of coffee stain paper. And I'm gonna make just little journaling cards out of it. I'm gonna ink around the outside edge and make some journaling cards to tuck down in our little tuck spot. And we'll set those aside. And now to create some little waterfall notepads that we can also put on the inside. I'm just folding that over into a triangle at the top, gluing it down. I have um, just rolled it up to make it an appropriate size to create a little envelope. So I tore those into little three inch strips. And now we'll just ink around the outside edge of those and ink each and every little line. I did no measuring on this, just tore that three inch strip, made my little point at the top, and then um, lightly folded it to see where I needed to press and crease. And that is as simple as it gets on these. And I'm just making up three or four of these to be able to tuck down inside, inside the, the folder. And now we'll create a uh, spot for those waterfall notepads to be glued to. And I'm going to do the same thing, just rip off uh, with the ruler, just ruler tear, about three inches in width. And I am just going to finger tear the bottom of each page. So I'm putting about six pages together and I am just finger tearing each piece of paper a little bit shorter than the piece underneath it. So it creates this waterfall paper effect. And once I have that all torn and stapled together, I'll go back and ink each piece to give the dimension and for that um, distinctive layering to show.
and then I'll just uh, glue it to this piece of um, paper that we have printed paper that we have cut out and I'm going to trim that down so it's it's not overly wide and just take a an additional piece of that scrapbooking paper and glue it to cover those staples that we put in. So now we have a few waterfall note sheets and we have the note um, little folded over envelopes that we created and the little journaling cards. And now I'm just going to create a few altered paper clips. And this is uh, very easy. I'm going to link you into a video that I watched um, from Kendo Crafts that shows in detail how to make these, but I'm just folding over a piece of paper, the width of the paper clip, then sliding my paper clip down inside, and then I will put a little charm to keep that little paper sleeve from coming off. And there I've adhered the, the three sleeves. And now I'm just taking my postage stamp and stamping those little envelopes to give them a little bit of interest. And I'm going to make some little pockets out of the scrapbooking paper. So I'm just creating a little divot with my punch and inking around those. And those will just be little tuck pockets that we'll put in as well. So we're just creating some additional decoration for this book. And what I shall do is just take you on a complete book tour and show you where I put each of these things we just created. But as I said, I'm under a time crunch to get this done. I wanted to put together a book that was quick and easy, and I think we have accomplished just that.
And that completes the pink and purple journal. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that subscribe button if you did. Like, go ahead and share. And if you'll hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when additional content is uploaded. Thanks so much and bye for now.